It's a nice suit you got there. Must be nice. See, I, I, I'd love to own a nice suit like that. I know that Chauncey and Bert would love to own a nice suit like that. You know, one of the most important things uh, about filmmaking is, uh, is your time management. And it's very important to, uh, to get that down. Sometimes you could drive yourself nuts uh, knowing that you want to make movies more than anything else in the world. And you have your friends saying, hey, let's go to a party. Let's, we're going to the beach. We're gonna go to Disneyland. We're gonna have a great time. And sure, that might be a good time, but uh, how is that going to help your, your, uh, your filmmaking drive? Being a writer or a filmmaker, it takes a lot of sacrifice and you do spend a lot of time alone. Um, and uh, for me, I like being alone because I like being in that space because it took me so many years to find that space. And now that I'm there, I don't wanna leave. And, um, and it's, it's, it's quite remarkable, but like I said, as a filmmaker, you have to be prepared to uh, spend a lot of time alone and not do a lot of the things that uh, your friends are doing. Hopefully you could find friends that, uh, that make movies and they understand you and you guys work together and you're able to, to build uh, something together. There wasn't a lot of people around me that, uh, that wanted to make movies until I met Sean Donahue because he was already making movies with his dad. They made a bunch of action films, and so I was lucky enough to, to climb on board uh, with Bottom Line Studios. One of the things that's uh, very difficult about uh, low-budget independent filmmaking is that you, you there's so many limitations. Um, there's so many things that you want to do that you just can't because there's just no money. Uh, but limitations could actually work in your favor. Limitations, they keep you on your toes. You know, I'm actually sitting right here at the San Jose History Park and I'm looking at the building uh, where we shot uh, the bank robbery scene. And I could remember, I could remember uh, shooting all the exterior stuff first with all the cars. And then we were gonna go inside and, and shoot the scene uh, of the, the robbery. And so there was a, there was a few moving parts. There was, um, I had a, uh, a couple bank tellers and there was a, a few customers and then there were, um, uh, three bank robbers and then the bank president and I can remember walking in and all these people are staring at me um, wondering what are we going to do what, what, what's the first shot what's next what should I do and uh, for a second you know you got butterflies in your stomach for a second but uh, then you just say you, you know you, you kick in right you just say okay this is it this is gonna come here, that's gonna go there, you guys are gonna back up there, the vault's over there, and there's all these things, all these moving parts, and, and you're so inspired and you've worked so hard uh, in pre-production that you just know where everything needs to be. And um, that's the other thing, in pre-production, that's, that's where you're gonna find, that's where you line everything up, so that when, when you start filming, you know exactly what you need to do. If you're just starting out uh, as a filmmaker and you're trying to figure out uh, you know, what direction to head into uh, to get your movie made, write a one-page scene with two people and then go out and film that scene and then edit it. It's very, very important to be able to see what it is that you wrote and what you ended up with when you, when you uh, started, when you filmed it, because it's much different. Um, you know, writing a, a screenplay, that's just the very first steps of a very, very long process. So if you can get out and, um, uh, you know, write a one-page scene, two people, um, hopefully it could be somewhere quiet. Uh, very important to shoot in, in quiet places. You don't want to shoot on a bus stop or anything like that, or even a restaurant. Try to find a quiet place and then just film it and edit it. And I guarantee that uh, after you do that, your writing process, you'll see your writing process a lot different. You know, don't let people talk you out of what you wanna do, stay the course and just go for it. Just keep shooting over and over and over again, doing, doing whatever you have to do and eventually you'll finally get there.